happy Sunday to everyone. Ako nga pala si Ate Jojo and I'm very happy na magkakasama-sama na naman tayo para sa ating kids Sunday worship celebration. Okay, as we start, come together kids, let's gather and let's pray. Okay, let's pray dear God. Uh, we thank you very much for this beautiful day that you have given us uh, para kami ay makapagsama-sama para makapag-worship sa inyo at mag-aral ng inyong salita. Gabayan niyo po kami as we enjoy this time together with you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright kids, sanda na ba kayo para sa ating worship? Okay, let's come together and sing to Jesus. The shepherds came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. Here lay the Savior inside a manger. Oh, what a glorious night. Oh, what a glorious night. I hear the angels sing. Sunday again, and today, um, this it's December, the first Sunday of December, and we're going to start talking about the birth of Jesus Christ and the coming of our hope into this world. So last week, uh, you you talked about pinag-usapan natin yung manna from heaven, right? 
And eto, Jesus is the permanent bread from heaven. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. But this time, paparating pa lang siya. At uh, ang tagal na ng mga tao, wala na silang naririnig na na boses. They, they don't hear God speaking anymore. It, everything is dry. Natutunan na nila yung loss ni God. Sumusunod na lang sila religiously. And they're waiting for the coming Messiah, the coming King. But before we continue, I would like to invite you na to comment on the comment section. Who are you watching with? You want to know who's with you. Pangalawa, kung sino man yung mga nanonood, kasama mo, you're listening to the Word of God and you're worshiping with us and learning from, from the Lord's Word for us. I want you to write kung meron kang cell leader. No? Kung, kung may cell leader ka, sulat mo dun, sinong cell leader mo. Or kung meron kang ibang church, probably sa province, isulat mo. So that we can account for everyone and we want to be able to eventually disciple everyone, including kayo, mga bata. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for, for your word for us. Thank you, Lord, for the examples of these people who welcomed your coming into this world. And I pray, Lord, na, na talagang ma, um, ma-ponder, mapag-isipan namin sa puso namin yung mga bagay, Lord, na napagdaanan nila and kung gano'n ka-significant ito. And that we will also have uh, the same excitement for your coming into our hearts first and also the day that you will come again and we will be prepared to let you in in every area of our lives. Bless us today. Teach us with your word. Holy Spirit, speak to everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. So kids, the story of Jesus starts in a place, a small town called Nazareth. Right? And Nazareth is not a very famous city like maybe Quezon City or New York City. It is infamous because a lot of bad things come out from this town. But in this town, Jesus will be raised. And Mary is here. So, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy with John, God had sent the angel Gabriel to visit a virgin who, virgin, ibig sabihin, uh, wala pa siyang asawa. Never pa siyang uh, nag-violate sa laws ni God na hindi niya pa ginawa yung mga bagay na pang mag-asawa lang. And, but, she's already pledged to be married to Joseph. Right? But during this time, six months again, six months pregnant na si Elizabeth, yung pinsan niya. And during this time, God sent the angel Gabriel. Have you ever seen an angel? What do you think it would be like if you suddenly saw an angel? Ayan. The angel came to her and siyempre, Nagulat siya. Hindi naman everyday na makakakita ka ng angel, right? And the angel, says, Gabriel, said to her, Greetings! Favored, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. But then she was troubled. What is he saying? What does it mean? Siguro, isip niya, huling araw ko na ba to? Sando. Pero sabi sa kanya ng angel, Don't be afraid, Mary. Actually, you have found favor with God. God is happy about you. That's what that means. And he's so happy that you will be pregnant to a son. And, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great. And will be called the son of the most high, the son of God. 
nakakita na ba kayo ng uh, pregnant na alam mo na pinanganak pa lang or baka ikaw uh, excited si mommy and daddy mo na paglaki mo, you will be great. And then, si Mary, di pa siya nag-aasawa pero sabi sa kanya, you will be pregnant and he will be great. And he will be the son of the most high God. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign forever over the house of Jacob. His kingdom will never end. Di ba usually yung mga kings, gano'ng katagal yung kingdom nila? Hanggang nabubuhay lang. So pag sinabi niyang his kingdom will never end, ibig sabihin, hindi siya mamama tay. Right? He will always live forever. Pero sabi ni Mary, I am a virgin. Hindi pa ako tumabis sa isang lalaki. Paano ako mabubuntis? No? So, sabi ni nung angel sa kanya, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of God will overshadow you. And yun yung magkakos sa'yo na maging pregnant. And so, your baby will be holy. And will be called the Son of God. And you know what? Your relative, your cousin Elizabeth, who was said to be barren and is late na, she's 60 plus na, and without child, she is now at her six months of pregnancy with John. For nothing will be impossible with God. Can you say that with me? For nothing will be impossible with God. So, the first impossible situation is Elizabeth, 60 plus na, never pa siyang nagka-baby. And now, she's six months pregnant with John. Pangalawang impossible thing, sabi sa kanya ng angel, you will be pregnant. And she's never slept with a man. She will be pregnant through the power of God that will overshadow her. For nothing is and will be impossible with God. Kung ikaw yun, sasabi, tatanggapin mo ba? Isipin mo, mag-aasawa ka na. Engage ka na. Tapos, mabubuntis ka. Ano kayang iisipin nung mapapangasawa mo kapag ka nalaman niya, nabuntis ka? Ngayon, eh, hindi naman niya agad-agad nakikita yun, nabuntis ka, di ba? After three months, siguro, doon na lumalabas. Pero, alam mo, sabi ni Mary, Yes, I am the Lord's servant. Hindi niya sinabi, hindi, ano, hanap ka na lang ng iba. Uh, kasi, mag-aasawa na ako, baka iwan ako ng asawa ko. Pero hindi man niya inisip yun eh. Inisip niya lang, paano mangyayari to? Pero, tinanggap niya, sabi niya, yes, I am the servant of the Lord. So, kadalasan, minsan iniisip natin, ano kayang pwedeng gawin para sa atin ni God? No? Pero si Mary... She was to, willing to risk her reputation to be the Lord's servant, to follow the Lord. Sabi niya, let it happen to me according to your word. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. And so, dahil narinig niya yung tungkol sa pinsan niya na si Elizabeth, kakaiba yun. So, uh, nag-travel siya, nag-decide siya na umalis, pumunta dun sa town of Judea, dun sa bahay nila, Zechariah at Elizabeth. At binati niya, nung narinig ni Elizabeth yung boses ni Mary, nagulat siya kasi yung baby sa tiyan niya, ayan no, may laki na yung tiyan niya, puti na yung hair niya kasi medyo matanda na siya. The baby in her womb leaped and was she was filled with the holy spirit ibig so imagine mo si John nasa baby nasa tummy pa lang siya she, he was already filled with the holy spirit and and dahil doon yun yung testimony kay Elizabeth na sabi niya kay Mary blessed are you among women and all people all women who who see you or hear about you will call you blessed and blessed is the child in your womb and sabi niya uh, Pinagpala naman ako, who am I that the child of my Lord will come to me? Sino yung Lord nila? Si Jesus na dala-dala na ni Mary ngayon because the power of God overshadowed. Paano niya nalaman yan? Sabi niya, for the instant I heard your voice, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she, 
Ikaw, Mary, who has believed that what the Lord has spoken to her would be fulfilled. Sabi niya, pinagpala daw tayo pag naniwala tayo na kung ano yung sinabi ni God sa atin ay matutupad. And so, and so, they are celebrating and sharing this good news. Good news is meant to be shared. And sabi, siguro iniisip ni Mary, who else can I share this joy with? I will rejoice with Elizabeth and I know Elizabeth will rejoice with me because she has the same impossible situation that God is doing. And so, sabi ni Mary, my soul exalts the Lord. And my spirit has to begun to rejoice. So si Mary, hindi siya selfish, hindi niya iniisip yung mga suffering na pwede niyang uh, pagdaanan. Pero iniisip niya, God has looked upon the humble state of His servant and has chosen me to bear, bear the Son of God. Diba? She's, she's um, thinking about the privilege of serving the Lord. And sabi niya, from now on, all generations of women will call me blessed because he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. From generation to generation, he is merciful to those who fear him. He has demonstrated his power with his arm. He has Put down those who are proud and scatter them from their, the arrogance of their hearts. Binaba niya yung mga mighty at mayabang. Pinabagsak niya sila yung mga mighty. Pinababa niya sa mga thrones nila and has lifted up the lowly in position. Yung mga mababa, tinaas ni God. Yung mga nagmamataas, binaba ni God. And he has filled the hungry with good things. He has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel. Na alala niya yung mercy niya. Ito na kasi yun. Ito na yung hope of salvation. Tumating na. As he has promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and his descendants forever. And so, Mary had stayed with Elizabeth about Three months because on the ninth month, mga anak na si Elizabeth. Until that time, bago siya mga anak, umuwi na si Mary. I love uh, this story because um, number one, God did all the unlikely things, sabi niya, di ba? Yung mga hindi ine-expect ng mundo. Sabi nga nila, the kingdom of God is an upside-down kingdom. Yung mga ine-expect mo, na laging nasa taas, binababa niya. So, for example, Nazareth, infamous kasi sabi nga nila uh, later on, can anything good come out of Nazareth? May labas, lalabas ba nagawa niyan? And yet, dun lalaki si Jesus. And yet, dun yung hometown ni Mary na mag, magdadala sa Son of God. Pangalawa, she is a virgin. She is poor. So, parang wala siyang Uh, karapatan, kumbaga, di ba? Pero, sabi, sabi niya, di ba, God has looked upon the humble state of his servant. And sabi, nakakatuwa rin kasi yung angel, hindi lang niya sinabing, ano ka ba naman, Mary, ano? Hindi mo ba alam, angel ako? Uh, pero hindi sinabi niya, do not be afraid. Parang naintindihan niya na natakot siya at uh, iko-comfort niya na, huwag ka matakot. I, I bring good news. You have found favor with God. God is pleased with you and uh, God will allow you to have a son. And pangatlo is Mary, she is so ready and so willing. Imagine mo kung engaged ka na, is nagre-ready ka na, iniisip mo na yung future life mo as husband and wife, mer- meron ka ng asawa, and yet she was willing to take on this role. Hindi niya tinanong, ayoko, bakit mo papagawa sa akin yan? Pero tinanong lang niya, paano mangyayari ito? And sinabi niya, I am the Lord's servant. So, dapat sana tayo, maging ganun tayo, Lord, no? I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. 
And sabi sa kanya na Elizabeth, Blessed are you among women, and blessed because you carry the Son of God. Pangalawa, because you believed that what the Lord has said to you will be done. Minsan kasi pagka hindi natin naiintindihan paano, siya isang tanong lang, pinaliwanag sa kanya, naniwala siya. Pero minsan hindi tayo naniniwala. we totoo ba? Paano gagawin ni Lord? Parang imposible naman, parang malabo. For example, yung building natin, parang hirap. No? Pero, God has given us a word. And sabi niya, we are blessed when we believe that what the Lord has promised will be done. Ako din, meron mga promise sa, sa buhay ko. I am blessed if I believe that God is able to fulfill and accomplish what He has promised. Kasi si Zechariah, sabi sa kanya ni God, well, patanda na ako, sabi niya. Ano mangyayari to? Hindi siya naniwala, kaya naging pipi siya during the time ng pregnancy ng asawa niya. Pero si Mary, naniwala siya. Kaya nga sabi ni Elizabeth, blessed ka kasi kahit na parang imposible, naniwala ka. So, nothing will be impossible with God. And our hope has come. Ngayon, I don't know your situation. If you have welcomed Jesus into your heart. Or, this Christmas, take time to uh, think about what a special gift it is to us. And what a good thing that God keeps His promise. He gave this hope. Sabi niya, uh, parang wala kayong pag-asa sa Israel. Laging failing yung mga human kings ninyo. Pero I will send you a king who will be king forever. And sabi sa, kan- sa kanya ng angel, etong dadalin mong baby, ay, he will be the king forever. He will not die. He will be established forever. So, pagka ang hope natin, yung pag-asa natin, hindi sa mga bagay ng mundo or kung saan-saan natin nilalagay, pero kay God mismo, when we know that uh, maaasahan na matutupad yung mga pag-asa natin. Kasi sa kanya tayo ma- umaasa. Ito, it's been a while that they haven't heard from the Lord, but a lot of people put their hope in God. And now, it is coming to pass. The hope has come. Let us pray. Um, let us pray that we will be like Mary. And um, pagka negative yung situation, well, for example, ngayon, COVID-19, itong taon na to, will you still be able to hope? Will you cling to hope? Yes, because God is with you. Will you still celebrate? So let's pray that we will keep hoping in the Lord even through this difficult times. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are good and you have come, Lord. Na you have come to fulfill your promises na a lot of your people who fear the Lord have put their hope in you. Sabi mo, Lord, you will come and you will establish your kingdom. And Lord, ito na yung time na tinupad mo yung uh, mga pangako mo. And dahil alam namin, Lord, ito yung greatest promise mo na tinupad mo. Alam namin even now, we are not the, without hope. We can still hope in you because we already know that you are a promise keeper. That when we put our hope in your word, maaasahan namin yun. Hindi yun, uh, it is a, a firm and secure anchor, strong and steadfast. And we do not have to be shaken. We can still celebrate in you because we trust you. And we will keep putting our hope. Akame at ayong buong pamilya namin, we will keep putting our hope in you. We love you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for coming to give us a hope for, for salvation in our hopeless situation. Sa sarili namin na hindi namin kaya magbago, na hindi namin kaya maatin yung sal- salvation, you came to give us hope. For a new life with you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. I hope you share this with your friends. And enjoy 
um, every Sunday worshiping with us and also doing the crafts and memory verse. Let's do this together. I am Atithea. You are blessed. I am blessed. Stay blessed. And let us be ready to be the Lord's servant, to be used of the Lord. December na mga bata, handa na ba kayo sa Pasko? Pero alam nyo ba kung kaninong birthday ang pinagdiriwang natin tuwing Pasko? Tama kay Jesus Christ, kaya ang ating memory verse ay tungkol sa Kanya. Kuhain natin ang ating mga Bible at punta tayo sa Matthew 1 verse 21. Sabay-sabay nating basahin ha. In 3, 2, 1. He will save his people from their sins. Because he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 1 verse 21. For easy version, ganda lang. Tayo tayong lahat, tapos sundan niyo lang ako, okay? Um, sabayan niyo rin yung pagbigkas ng ating memory verse. He will save because he will save his people from their sins. Okay? Ngayon, practice nyo ng kayo lang. In 3, 2, 1, go. He will save his people from their sins. He will save his people from their sins. Ito naman ang ating difficult version. Sundan nyo lang rin ako. Okay? First, He will save His people from their sins. Because He will save His people from their sins. Okay? Pagsunod-sunod din natin. In 3, 2, 1. Because he will save his people from their sins. Ngayon kayo naman. Mag-practice kayo ng kayo lang. In 3, 2, 1, go. He will save his people from their sins. Hello kids! It's time for our crafts! I'm Ate Desiree and I'm going to teach you how to make an origami of a manger and baby Jesus. Come on, let's start! These are the materials that we're going to use. A scissor, colored papers, a pen, black pen, a pencil, a ruler, and a glue. The first thing that we're going to do is measure a square. The next thing we will do is to cut the square. Let's fold this side to form a triangle. Then fold this one like this. And then fold another one. Then fold. Then we're going to fold this one like this. Make sure that it is straight here. Flat. Then. And same with the other side. Fold it. Like 
like this. Then, open it. And then, fold natin dito sa line. Sa may line. Yung basis natin. After that, fold ulit natin to. Hanggang dito. Make sure na magka-level sila. Then, let's fold it again this side. Ito natin sa other side. Next one, let's make sure uh, 30 millimeters. This is lang natin sa pagtutupian natin. And then, let's fold this one. Fold natin ito. Fold natin na ganyan. Tapos, lalim natin ito. Yan. After that, kuha tayo ng isang colon paper. Measure tayo ng rectangle para sa face ng baby. Kunin natin yung glue. Tapos, i-paste natin. Yeah, 
And then, fold natin itong side natin. Make sure na may konti natitira sa taas para fold natin. Ganyan. Yan. And then, fold natin to. After that, i-fold din natin tong side na to. Tong two sides. Fold natin siya sa likod. So, ito na. Next thing to do is, kunin mo na yung black pen mo and then drawing na tayo ng eyes and mouth. Yan, tapos na. Sunod na natin yung manger. Let's measure a rectangle. After nating makat, ito na, fold na natin. Fold sa gitna. Then, get your ruler and pencil. Tapos, measure natin siya. Measure tayo ng 40 millimeters. Yan. Ito yung basis natin sa pag-fold. Then, fold natin to Isa, fold natin sa gitna. Yan. And then, sa likod naman. After that, open natin siya. Open. And then, fold natin this side. Tapos, papunta sa gitna. Then, open natin this side. Tapos, po-fold tayo dito. Then, sa baba. Tapos, Open mo yan. Sa kabila naman. Yan. Okay na. Okay na, na. Open na natin.
Hold lang tayo ng konti dito sa gilid. Same din sa kabila. Then, kunin na natin yung baby. Tapos, lagay natin dito. Ayan. Yay! Ito na yung si uh, Origami ni Baby Jesus na nasa manger. Yay! tapos na. This is an origami of a manger and this is an origami of baby Jesus. Ito yung ginawa natin kasi it symbolizes hope. So, declare mo nga, Jesus is my living hope. Ulitin natin. Jesus is my living hope. O yan, kids. Isa lang yung hope natin. Sino yon? Si Jesus. Okay kids, don't forget to post your crafts in the comment sections. Thank you! Alright kids, nagustuhan nyo ba ang activities natin today? O, huwag nyo kakalimutan na i-post ang inyo mga crafts dito. And syempre, yung ating memory verse at ating message we should always take them into heart. Okay, let's end our Sunday together with a prayer. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa pagpapadala ng inyong anak na si Jesus sa amin. Help us, dear Jesus, to make you the Lord of our lives every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, goodbye kids! See you again next Sunday!